So this, this is all about thermoregulation, maintaining my body's temperature. And I want to keep my body's temperature at 37 degrees because that's the temperature at which my body's enzymes work best. So I want to keep it at 37. And I've got ways of detecting my body's temperature. I've got temperature receptors in my skin called my dermis and they give information about my body's temperature to part of my brain called the hypothalamus which is in the back of the brain and that monitors my body's temperature and that's thermoregulation. I'm really really cold so my body needs to do something about the cold and it can respond in three different ways. The first thing is I'll start to shiver and what happens there is that the hypothalamus in my brain tells my muscles to contract very quickly and that process releases heat. As I shiver and my muscles contract it releases heat. So shivering is one way. The second way is that I notice that all my hairs bing, stand up on end. Why is that? That's because there are little muscles in my skin called erector muscles which are connected to the hairs on my skin and when my erector muscles contract the hairs stand up on end they trap the air which acts as an insulator and warms me up so that's the second way my hairs standing on end the third way at the higher level is that what happens is that when I'm cold the blood vessels in my skin I get something called vasoconstriction. That means my blood, blood vessels get narrower and that prevents heat being lost from my skin and other parts of my body. So three ways we've got there. Shivering, hair standing on end, vasoconstriction. Whoa, this time I'm way too hot. My body temperature is too high, so it's got to be brought back down. So three things are going to happen. Firstly, I'm going to start sweating, and I've got sweat glands in my skin, and they're going to release sweat. And sweat, when it's on the skin, can evaporate, and when it evaporates, heat is drawn out of the body. It moves out of the body. That cools me down. Second thing. My hairs, which may be worse standing on end, this time the erector muscles relax and the hairs go flat. And the third thing that happens is that instead of vasoconstriction, my blood vessels, I get vasodilation. My blood vessels get wider. This enables more heat to be moved from the blood to the outside. So vasodilation enables heat to be lost by the body and that cools me down too.